A lot of people say to me, Professor, what really goes on inside an engine? Well, today I'm going to answer this fascinating question. As ever, I have three luminaries of the scientific world to assist me in investigating the joys of lubrication. Joys of lubrication? <laughs> Do try to take this seriously, gentlemen. Using this rather clever technique we've devised, we're literally going to take a look inside an engine to see how it and its lubrication system works. Here we have the piston and rod, which is very much the engine room of the, um, engine. <clears throat> uh, notice how the lubricant allows it to move at incredible speeds. It's been a while since I've been to a rodeo. This could be fun. With the correct lubrication, such as Mobile One, a piston like this can be fired over 3,000 times a minute. Woohoo! Yes, it is rather impressive, isn't it, Tony? Oh, good heavens. <laughs> Gentlemen, can we at least try to behave like scientists? Now, over here we have the oil sump, which is a sort of reservoir, or bath, if you like, in which the Mobile One collects... Uh, how'd you turn the bubbles on, then? For goodness sake, Jensen, this is scientific equipment. <laughs> Just pull the plug on you, man. Ah! on! Right, let's move on to the valve springs. Mobile One not only lubricates, but also cools the valve springs, resulting in... Hey, these are cool. Mr. Perez, please remove yourself from that spring. Well, I suppose now we've demonstrated how the constituent parts work, we should see how the engine functions as a unit. Oh, dear. So, Prof, tell us, what is it like inside an engine? Do you really think that's fitting behavior for a scientist? <laughs> Chaps, you're not going to leave me, are you? 